right, so sure. shall we get started? No. Yeah, I made my character. If you haven't looked at it yet. I had a quick look at it. You love him, I know. Well, he fits well together with Oscarshan. Who is that? The cult leader. Fuck! Mr. Frowny <laughs> face. Urgh, I love that face. I probably love him. I made a... I, I, I don't know. See, because before I made my character, I watched Stalker. Mm -hmm. and, then I, and then I played like some Darkest Dungeon, and I was like, you know what? A great slant would be a religious character. You kind and of broke like, the yeah. trend, too, that Nash Grunt smiles. Fugo. Yeah, shout out to my boy Fugo. Don't know any Fugos out there, but you exist. Shout out to Hugo the Troll. Who lives <laughs> out down there. under the bridge. Hugo the Troll. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm ready. Uh, attack. Let's see. There's Nash. There's no Grunt. Yeah. There's Grunt, right? Smiles. I already threw myself on there. Uh-huh. That's a good picture. Into the river. Into the river with you. And then Fugo. Alright. So, I'd like... could everybody just present their character a little bit to each other? Oh. Alright. Um, How are you guys putting your pictures onto the thing? You drag it from the bio. Oh, okay, thank you. No problem. Oh, thanks, Draw Tool. I didn't select you. That's cool. Thanks. Not there. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> hold hold. What button is it you hold to put it like? So it doesn't have to be 45 Ooh. degrees. So yeah. we'll just have a highlight. Oh my god! And then a direct Smile, stop direction. drinking the river water. <laughs> well. It does uh, it say what kind of apocalypse happened? Is it nuclear? Or... Uh, the, there is no information properly of what happened exactly. Okay, so it's just like Stalker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the movie, not the uh, video game. We at least have no record of what happened, so we don't know. Uh, I'm going uh, to take a shot at Probably what happened? Alex dropped his mixtape. <laughs> it, it was nuclear fire. It was Greek fire. Damn. It was a I career collabor for everybody. I did, uh, I did a collaboration with Firewind, so it was like Greek fire. Uh, anyway, so we were introducing ourselves? Yes, please do some introductions. Uh, well, hi, I'm Nash. Uh, I usually work at the gatehouse uh, with Mama Jones, watching any traffic that uh, tries to come into the Ark, uh, keeping keeping the bandits out. Um, keeping it real. Uh, Since 1984. If you got any complaints about the way I handle things, uh, you can talk to uh, Nana Jones, or better yet, Talk to Maximon. He's the one who cuts all our paychecks. Or throws us scraps and doesn't beat us when we do good. So, you're aligned to Maximon? Uh, yeah. Um, the the storyline is uh, Maximon took me in when I was young, and now I continue to work with him because he has my sister. Uh-huh. But I want I want to get out from under his thumb, make make a a new life for myself and her, and I believe my goal, my my stated goal, my big dream is to become so strong nobody will ever fuck with my friends again. Good. So, there you go. Smiles. What? Um. I just. Go out the way, looking for or zone, looking for uh, supplies, and hide under the bridge with my troll buddy, uh, Sebas. I forgot about the troll. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Seabass is an extremely large and mutated human living by the water filtration unit underneath the bridge. Poor old Seabass. I don't really work with any of the main bosses. I try to stay neutral. Except I don't work with the cold at all. They seem to be a little dangerous. And the then army. we have Grunt, right? Yes. Grunt has likes dogs. Here's his dog oh. too. He's a really oh. fat one. Oh, <laughs> I guess Gruff would be a fat dog. Mm. I raise dogs. Love dogs more than humans. I. Hmm. I'm really bad at wording. <clears throat> uh. Hmm. No, I think that's about it. He likes dogs. Racism. <laughs> Wants to create a sanctuary for dogs. So they don't have to be in this shithole. Perhaps Eden is filled with new dogs. Filled, it's just puppies. It's just pom poms all over. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, then we have Fugo. Okay, I'm Fugo. And my character's job is to wish to spread the faith of the old gods back into the wasteland. An unorthodox to the cult, believing that there should be new knowledge. So you're a counter cult to Oscarshan's cult, then? Yes. Faith in the old gods, but the new knowledge is needed. Mm -hmm. Faith in Eden, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I forgot to ask uh, Smiles and Grunt, are you guys aligned with any specific boss or are you just independent? I tr think I'm mostly independent. I work with some of them more than the others. Probably anyone but the cult leader mm -hmm. I work with. And also that creepy dude, Sister. Fixter. Sister the Fixer. Yeah, I don't work with those two. Maximilian, <laughs> Arlette. I work with every once in a while. Listen up, I'm going to show Sixter. There he is. He's ugly as hell. No one likes Sixter. Yeah. The right hand no, man of Maximon. I'm He's not so exactly a lion. Charismatic. He's gross. I hope he goes missing very soon. Falls off a bridge. Oh look, we have two of them. <laughs> that doubles the chances. Indeed. <laughs> My God. I'm not quite aligned, but since Marlette is quite a military leader, she is a fan of me training attack dogs. Yes, so, it's, so... A, it's a it's a common it's a good business. Lucas yeah. will remember that. So the large the big the entire arc used to be controlled by the elder, but the elder is well old and is not seen that much. Mostly the chroniclers are the only one who see the elder, and that would mean more or less just Astrina because she is the most senior of the the chroniclers. Uh, the de facto leader of the Ark would be Maximon. He wears the captain's hat and prefers to be called the Skipper. He has about 50 mutants that follow him and do what he says, that are loyal to him. Second, in second place we have Marlot, who is more of a military kind of boss, who has about 20 mutants that she constantly do military drills with, and so so on. And the third one we have is Oskarshan, who is a cult leader and very frowny. 
Uh, I know, that's a Judge Dredd pattern smile. Well, I think he's out frowning Judge Dredd right now. But he's not beating Judge Dredd Shin game. No. And also, he has a V frown. Yeah. Judge Dredd has the perfect line and then the falling down part of the, of the, the mouth. It's a blunt instrument. Yes. Uh, he leads the Guardian of the Catastrophe, who believes that basically that people should just hang out, hang out and die. It's a good strategy. Solid. Yeah. Sounds boring. Should never leave the Ark, should never improve anything, everything is bad, and so on. Sounds like he needs happy pills. Well, you, maybe you guys can find some in the zone for him. <laughs> maybe he gets happier with them. Yeah, happy pills or cyanide tablets. Whichever I mean, is it's... good. <laughs> he has about 20 followers, so that means that about half of the arc is aligned with one of the bosses. The rest are kind of independent. Uh, after going through... Um, the development levels last time. Uh, it's a chronic lack of food at all times within the Ark. Both, well, water is relatively okay, but the water, fil water filtration unit is not capable of producing more than what is needed. Ah, this, you gotta get the water chip. This meager supply is <laughs> usually locked up and well guarded, especially by people from Maximon's gang, and rations are divided up amongst the people with one ration every second day being given out. If you guys were isolated, you would probably have food for at most a week. Well, so what I'm hearing is we need to get a parsnip farm going right now. Yes, so I want to directly talk with you guys about that, because we're going to do a little bit of a moot Ooh. and decide on a project that should be developed during this session. Oh, can it be an ant moot? Uh, too few trees. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. It was a good idea. Too bad the world ended. <laughs> God damn it, she's calling me again. Okay, you have to log off this time. Okay. Well, we got a food problem. We got a water problem. Just grow watermelons. Ooh. That isn't a bad idea, but I don't think the watermelons are very are habitable Hi. in Weed, Ohio. Oops. <laughs> I need to hang up on the other thing. Okay, mm. yeah, I'm going to need you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how do I hang up? I can never hang up, apparently. Hold on. Okay, watch. That's one for the bloopers. Yeah. Boop, boop. I had to cut that out once when we were gaming, making a video, uh, a gaming video. Right. So everybody has uh, access to their. Uh, the player handbook, so to speak. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or can we view the projects? Yes. So you guys need to... So each of you should suggest a project. And Ooh, then you guys for. discuss and decide whichever project should be done. Alright. Something to improve the food situation is definitely key. Right now. Ninety-six. So we want to get cropland then. We do have some decent land in the relative area. Mm -hmm. I don't know how fertile it is. Hard to say. The positive thing is that the land here has zero rot. Well, at least the land. The water doesn't because you need to filtrate it, but still. Well, it does anyway without the nuclear apocalypse, or the apocalypse in Toledo. <laughs> so what I can see here is uh, you guys can uh, develop 
either send out a send out a hunting expedition, resort to cannibalism, <laughs> get farmland. Session one, great cannibalism. <laughs> First session, we're going cannibal. Can't be a population issue if there's no populace. Oh, uh, we can't even we can go radish and, or turnips, uh, but not parsnips. And you can get pig pens. We don't have enough food to feed pigs ourselves right now. We can't really feed pigs. So well, I'm thinking the hunting party, but more so towards the cropland because that would probably be the safest bet right now. Cropland is, yeah, I'd oddly say that enough, is pretty much the safest alternative. This is oddly enough, honestly. Uh, you guys don't need any additional food for the pig pen or the animal pen. I'm assuming that it's like uh, how my dog doesn't need rations, he can just eat. Or well, it's a she, yeah. but she can just eat. So uh, how the called? animals graze and take care of it by themselves. Yes. I think it's something that they can just eat the run or whatever it's called. Rot eaters are most... actually one of the most efficient and best car uh, mutations oh, we have. Oh, well, I have something to tell you then. <laughs> You're old for rot. I eat garbage. <laughs> you eat trash? Pretty much. No, I throw trash all over. Then I eat it. Trash? You're the trash man. Oh god, he's standing the veto. It all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> I was checking here. So, where should we put the cropland? I mean, we could put it over where uh, Marlette's base is, like, nearby them, because they have good security. And, no and she force. has trained them like soldiers, so they'd be good guards. Yeah. Or we could put it, like, right on this peninsula, but that'd be kind of hard to get over to. Let's put it next to Oscar and I'm sure he'll appreciate it. No, we're not putting anything near the cult besides a freaking wall and prison gates. We investigate and cap cannibalism, but only on the cult members. Here or here? So, you guys think it would be a good idea to put it, like, right here? Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, Alright. Sure. We're gonna grow... And what type of who, uh, things should we grow? Maze. Maze? Maze. Alright. I fucking love maze. Hmm. Wait, did that... Corn? I'm sorry. Yeah, corn. Maze. Corn. Just wanted learn, to make sure I was in learn English, you degenerate. Sorry, and where I'm from, we call it corn. Well, Not me. I <laughs> think. I just want to make sure. But yeah, it's corn. Mace, corn, born, Jason. Well, I'm okay with this. We born could grow born. oats. Wait, it's... no, let's not grow oats. Let's not grow oats. No, no, never mind. Whole Brother. oats. Brother, <laughs> give me the oats. In the other Apocalypse game, our characters have been surviving on oats only for months now, so no, well, let's not I do mean, oats. It worked for the Middle Ages. Yeah. That's also about the setting we are in right now. In the other not Apocalypse game. But let's grow Me and Alex. Yeah, let's just grow corn, I guess. Corn. There's right. a lot of things you can do to corn, so. Yep. We can invent popcorn. That's no. So popcorn we're doing. Corn are two different things. Well, uh, maize corn. I can invent it somehow. You're going to invent a species? Yes. See now. I'm sure my buddy Sea Bass wouldn't mind helping work on the crop field either every once in a while along the water gen um purifier or filtration system doesn't need work on or watch over at all times. So you guys are what what were you, what crop are you guys growing then? Maize, corn. Corn. Definitely not parsnips. Yeah, we we all basically agreed with corn. Mm -hmm. Corn. What's wrong with parsnips? Nothing. I just don't find it would be fun to grow parsnips, but corn is probably better. Yeah, corn's best. We 
can put America's that green bad. giant on it. For just about anything. Potato chips. No, that's just corn. Yeah. With the corn, we can grind it in the cornmeal and then make flour tortillas. Yeah. Or bread. Bread, too. We, yeah, corn is definitely a very versatile crop. Yeah, so whenever it is done or finished, you guys will get an additional 3d6 food supply. <laughs> oh, look at that. I found a cornfield. Well, nice. I fucking love corn. <laughs> so, uh, is AJ back? Nope, I'm dead. Okay, good. Oh my god, it's Alex. He's fucking back, boys. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Hey! Hi, how many people died? Uh, no one, we've been waiting on your fucking ass. They died of old age. Oh. Yeah, my mother was having problems with a website, and she needed me to go do it for her, so. Yeah, she had to talk me through ordering all the groceries. Oh. Uh, Who the fuck orders groceries online? Uh, my mom, apparently. My, people from My Marvel. mom, who's, like, ridiculously busy and needs to just be able to swing in and grab everything. Sounds like laziness to me. No, she is legit busy all the time. She has a lot of work. So how, how's the moot? How's the moot so far? We got corn. Looking as good as Momo. Oh. That's good. We're all naked? <laughs> uh, I'm not. You ain't getting my character naked. So the the guys decided that you you all need some food. So, food is good. So they good decided place to start. To start uh, a farmland project which needs okay. to farm corn and it will need 12 work points to be finished okay mm -hmm. and I've marked it out here that's where it will be when it's done cool gentlemen behold corn the power Man, of corn the god yep. of vegetable that's corn mines. So Marlotte is not allowed to have any drills anymore because you need to grow stuff on her land. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. No, yeah, she doesn't need to have drills. drills. She could have farming drills. How to ah. quickly grow the weed the crops. She'll find a way. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, 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 sure. And as I mentioned before, you can all decide that once during the session to to work on the project, provided you guys are inside the Ark. Okay. I will also I withdraw a random number of work points per session two for people helping out with, with this. So I'll do that at the end of the session, especially if you guys are not in the Ark. If you're in the Ark, it will probably be less. Okay. So I'll do like an off-screen so... role for people in the arc to that are helping out. Okay, so then mm -hmm. food. Um, we're also on pretty strict. We're also on pretty strict water rations. Is there anything we can do to improve that? You probably would have to go out into the zone to find something better for water water filtration, gotta, or gotta find a water chip, or to work out some kind of way to maybe pick up rainwater, for example. That's yeah, open up bad. your mouth, point it to the sky. But getting rainwater, all you need to get is some tarps or something. Yeah, and some buckets. Yeah, but then you need yeah. you guys need to find tarp and buckets. That is true. All right, we're going to Lowe's. So. <laughs> there used to be the Anderson, but they closed down. Anyway, one thing I forgot to mention is that all of you guys are about the same age. Okay. You're in so your, six years old. You're about in your mid twenties, somewhere between ah. twenty and twenty-five, more or less. The interesting fact about this arc is that. 
you all grew up together. There is no one older than you except for the elder. And this is also an interesting fact is that there, have, there are couples within the Ark, but no babies have been born. Which means that your, the inhabitants of the Ark are a finite resource. Ah, uh, so I finally figured out if we keep the cult around, what we can use them for. Have them indoctrinate to, uh, random people in the zone. Have them just kidnap. <laughs> okay, no, that not do that. We've all been rendered sterile. What do you mean? What do you mean you're kidnapped? I like to call it adoption. <laughs> I'm older than you, you fool! It's adopted still. Congratulations, so, you have been selected for a uh, one-way well, trip to the high-level bridge. We so got an old man. Program. Also, I want to imagine there's still a support beam up there on here, and it has some spray paint still after all these years saying "fuck Trump," and nobody really knows what that means anymore. You must have well, well, how do you know this is America? This could be Sweden. This could be Momo. It uh, could be, but I still like it. Because um, I believe it was a high-level bridge that some jackass... Uh, no, not jackass. I want to call him a hero. Went up to the very top of the fucking bridge and sprayed it or spray paint. Fuck Trump. Mind you, the bridge support beams are painted blue. So that <laughs> stood out like... Yeah, you can see that for miles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like, to think, I like to think we're in the middle of Sweden. Well, we could also be in Africa. Nah. No, we will all be dead already. Way less shitty. Okay, so I'll just continue here, and I'm going to read this out for you guys. Do right. you remember what it's like? What it was like before the elder got sick? He used to walk around in the ark and talk. Talk and help us with anything we needed. During the days, it was school time, and he taught the people, which are you guys, to read and count. At night, we'd sit around the fire and listen to the stories from the old age. The elder said he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, but that he had read books and seen moving images that showed what a fantastic time it must have been. When the elder got sick, all that stopped. Maybe it's the rot that finally got him. Maybe he's just old. I don't care which. I just want to sit in his lap again to hear him talk about the green fields, the blue lakes, and the great cities full of people. And this is why people have started to whisper again about Eden. Eden is a promised land, the end of the people's suffering, and the, the continuation of the race of the people. <laughs> So, there you go. That's a bit of the, the background plot. Uh, nobody, it's the end of the catastrophe, but nobody remembers or knows what happened. But it's a wasteland out there. There are no regular humans as far as anyone has seen. Any, No one of you guys have rarely been, if ever, outside the Ark. There are traders that come by a little bit now and again, and you can trade some stuff. But that's all. So this is our starting scene. It's night and it has been deemed by Maximon that it's your, you guys' turn to guard the, the, the gates in the palisade. It's very all dark right. and it's cold. The zone wind bites into the skin and it's still a long time until dawn will arrive. Uh, the barrier is mostly like old wrecked cars and other junk you have found. And that's where you guys protect your people, the people, from <laughs> other threats from outside. You know, like monsters, mutated beasts to get too close, or other stalkers. There are several stalkers that have been found well, from both your arc and other places that have been found dead and half eaten outside suddenly the night becomes a day as uh well, we, can describe, we can describe it as a will-o-wisp 
moves across the sky like a falling star, but it's so far stronger. Uh, stronger than you guys have ever se seen in the zone. This pale light plays over the old ruins and what, whichever weird gnarled trees that have grown up from the ground. And it lightens up the arc behind you guys. There, right inside the wall, behind you, is a foreign beast. A wild zone monster with fur and big freaking fangs. Um, oh, I'm gonna punch it. The monster <laughs> snuck in over the palisade wh when you guys didn't see it, but was found when this will-o'-wisp came over the, the heavens. The creature starts growling and runs towards you guys with open jaws. What do you guys do? Um, take a shot at it with my little bow. This I think should we be have to roll for initiative. <laughs> Let's this is an opportune time to All tell right. you guys that I have no weapons. Oh dear. Talk to well then get week. behind us. But I can inspire. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, really is it a B20? It's biting my it, arm! Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember how to do this, so bear oh, with me. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the mission? Conflict, here we go. You guys roll um, uh, a D6 and add your... Let's see now, what's it called? God damn it. What's it called in English? Uh... Agility? Uh, no. Let's see now. It's called that here. Why am I looking at this one? Yeah, agility. Hmm. Uh, agility? Add your agility plus a d6. Uh, agility? Yeah, agility, agility and a d6. Agility. Look, look. Yeah! You can't, you can't oh, we're the best! I forgot to add the plus four. Oh, oh five, that's two five. ones already! What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> three, run! Plus three, so that makes it six. I'm six, too. Nice. I oh, no. We are... Why do we roll so bad? Because... Why is your fucking agility five? Because I'm a dog handler. <laughs> fuck you. Let's see now. I'm going to roll two for the creature. Oh, this is so good. Shit. Oh, we're so dead. Shit. So, so what's your next character going to be, guys? <laughs> um, sea bath to troll under the bridge. <laughs> I'll choice. <laughs> so is that, that how this works? Like, we're going to keep rolling new characters until we run out of colonists? Yeah, probably. Good. <laughs> um, let's see now. There are two kinds of actions you guys can do in combat. Uh, you can do one action and one maneuver. One action is like roll for a skill or use a mutation. A maneuver is to move towards like an enemy, find the uh, shelter or to hide pick up an object from your pack pick up an object off the ground draw your weapon aim a weapon reload a weapon use an object jump enter an, a vehicle uh, or start a vehicle you can perform one action and one maneuver in one round or two okay. maneuvers well, I will jump into the conveniently placed M1 Abrams right here and run it over. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pick up the Vorpal Sword of the Ancients. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a random roll now. Uh, the creature gets closest to, let's see now, the dog handler, which is... What's your name again? Oh, fuck. Grunt. Grunt. Okay, he is within arm's distance from you. Oh boy. Then, uh, right, next person. 
Um, that will. I'll let Alex go first. I'll go next. Wait, I have. Grunt, think... Grunt goes first, actually. Well, uh, well, um, you got six. Yeah, but Rakovi has plus three, so he's also six. You guys have a sim simultaneous action, but you guys decide who goes first. Let's say Jacoby, since he rolled higher on the base. Alright. So, I'm going to fucking scream at Lucas and inspire him. Okay, so you're doing an inspiration. <laughs> Get out of the fucker! Sorry. No, not any specific, he just screams and I go, That's my cue! <laughs> He's going like, ah, a revelation! <laughs> uh, so, it, I have it added in here into my skills, but does it use anything like... Uh, that's like your special skill, is it? Yeah. Let's see now. So, yeah, just click the dice. Fire. So you can use it to help. Uh, let's see now, in conflict. Right. Inspire others to... Uh -huh. I'm trying to read here a little bit quickly. Okay, so any sixes that you roll will count as a uh, as a, uh, automatic success for Lucas next action. Lucas, you're about to be fucking inspired. Base dice. So, what skill? What do I put in as base dice? So you just click on the little roll dice next to inspire, and it should uh -huh. do it automatically. Uh, okay, it's a skill. Mm -hmm. But when I click on the dice, it says base dice, and it tells me to input a value. Uh, what's the? Oh. It's Open. based on wits, I think. All right. So just write the same amount as your wits. Alright. Uh, I have no gear. Yes! One I had success. to. Thank you, Alex. Now, uh, do you wish to uh, push your roll? Nah, I'm fine. Okay. Right. So there you go, Lucas. Boom. Shared my wisdom. Screamed at you real good. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, Alex posted a link to something I find hilarious in the Discord, so I'm... yeah. <laughs> right, so who's yeah, next exactly. in the order? It'd be Lucas. Uh, yes. All right, Lucas, well, since what I you have... to do? I'll sick my dog to attack this furry beast. All right. Not the dog, he doesn't have fur. Then you roll for sick. Yes, let's see here. Okay, Hugo screams at you, you scream at the dog. And the dog screams. looks confused. <laughs> the dog screams. Let's see. Uh, what is... Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so scream. what you use now is... Let's see now. Um, yes, let's see. You... Uh, base dice, that's my agility, which is five. So... Gear die? I don't have any gear, I believe, no. so no. Your dog doesn't have any gear. Plus one. That means that your dog succeeds at biting the monster, causing two damage. It's a good thing I screamed at you. Uh, I cannot perform any further actions. But you can but... perform a maneuver. Yes. I'll make. I'll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> 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 What could I do as maneuvers again? Uh, oh, right, sorry, maneuvers. Uh, I'm moving back and forth here between the different yeah. rules, so... Uh, just a moment... Can you make like a notepad that describes uh, actions you can take? You can move towards an enemy, seek uh, like shelter or hide, uh, pick up an object from your pack or from the ground, pull a weapon, aim, reload, use an object, enter an, a vehicle, or start a vehicle. You don't have to use all the, 
the maneuvers. That's true. I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. The dog's doing good so far. Then it's the next person. You want to go first, Alex, or do you want me to go? I'll go. All right. Can I get to this thing in a single movement? Uh, you can use a maneuver to get uh, within arm's length of the monster. Cool. I run up to the monster and I punch it. Okay. So that will be like your full thing. Then roll for it. Not in my town, motherfucker! Uh, geared... Oh, shoot. It's asking me for gear dice. Well, if I'm just using my fists. So that would be zero, right? Do you right? have uh, brass knuckles, don't you? Yeah, if I can say I had those prepared from the beginning, sure. Well, let's <laughs> do it for this time. Well, you're on guard. We were One, guarding. So just... Oh, that's two successes. Yeah, All right. Uh, so I punch him. I punch the initiative. You punch the initiative, yeah. and you you suck it. You do a do a donkey punch on the monster, and it falls down oh, on oh, the ground. Ah. Is it dead? Do we know? Uh, who is it next? I believe me. Yeah. Um, is it still? Does it look like it's still moving? Well, or it's falling down. This is. You guys are at the same time, right? I think. I have no idea, honestly. Anyways, I will yeah. take a shot at Combo. it. You will shoot at it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your bonus. That'll be. Plus, I got a plus one for my bow. Does that mean I get one? Um, that means that you have plus one a gear dice. So one more gear die. Okay, submit. And it has a plus one damage as well, apparently. Do you go into vats? I don't yeah, know. He goes into vats. <laughs> you sink uh, an arrow into its back at the same time as... Uh, um. Should Nash do one more. Beat donkey punches him, and it's definitely dead now. <laughs> well, if it's dead now, I'm gonna go retrieve my arrow. Mm -hmm. I kick it for safety. Roll a d6 for me. Me? Yep. Um. Yeah, you retrieve your arrow. It's not destroyed. Good. I'm happy about that. Those things are really weapon. Yeah, and it's a ranged one too. <laughs> uh, I could this went hard. very quickly, so I'm going to continue describing Th this uh, falling star. I'm going to move all of us to the to the, this map. Oh. Whoa! It's Momo. <laughs> So the tower here, that's where the where you guys are at. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let's see now. Probably close like that. The star comes there in over here somewhere, passes over you guys, and about down here, it disappears, and everything turns dark. And after a while, you can hear a deep rumble rumble that just passes by and everything becomes deathly quiet once more. I'm just going to make a notification here on the... Uh, who wants to go on to report that to the boss? Or uh, the leaders? Uh, oh, uh, too big. I'm curious if we can eat this beast right here. Is there good eating on good this? Eating. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We have trouble with food, might as well find out. Anything's food if you're brave enough. Come on. Chances are that's not the only one of those beasts that the, uh, that, that falling star just spooked, so. Yeah, we better be I'd say, it. I'd say if we can spare anyone to go report this, it should be the guy who spent that whole fight yelling about the old gods instead of actually punching things. <laughs> <laughs> The old god lover <laughs> Grunt punch him with the power of the old gods. 
<laughs> that was what I was inspired by. <laughs> your, <laughs> your dog has teeth of the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that's she, a funny is, she, she is the daughter of Fenrir. Uh, most, due to the fact that there was some screaming going on, at least the people most closest to the gates have woken up and coming out like to check what the hell is going on. And what was yeah. that big shaking thing <laughs> happening? <fucking> scream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are people who oh, bring so... Party. Pardon? I was just saying, like, oh, that was just a one grunt farting vibrating the whole land. Mm -hmm. uh, some people bring uh, some lanterns and other stuff so you guys can see a little bit better what the hell the heroes have killed. Uh, as they um, shine their lamps on the thing, you can see it's a big freaking humanoid wolf creature. Damn. It's but it's really odd because it's wearing uh, what what's it called? You know that vest thing that Marty McFly has in Back to the Future. Hmm. That thing that looks like a life vest. Yeah, the thing that looks like a life vest. I'm not sure. I don't what, know. What the are they called? Or is it just a, like a jacket vest or something? Bubble vest. I okay. guess. Well, uh, a dark blue one, and it's wearing. Something that looks like jeans, with a hole for the tail. Mm, so this is probably not edible. I'm so I'm more dressed than some people here. I'm it kind looks of like it used to be human. It has a dagger with it, a, 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 a scrap dagger. I'm picking that up. Okay, so write down that you now have a scrap dagger. <laughs> or a scrap knife, sorry. I can scream about it now. Is there anything else on this thing? Uh, nope. Nothing else of interest. Uh, nobody yeah. got bit by this thing, right? I'd hate to have to put him down. <laughs> well, my if God. Anything else, it. we can ground this thing up for fertilizer. Or just bury it and use it for fertilizer for the crops. Can we at least take its clothing first? I mean, it's kind of hot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, well, nobody does, was saying it. Does any, uh, I guess some of the other people are run off to tell Maximon what's been going on. And after a while, oh. things calm down and you guys get back to your post. Nothing too weird about that. Uh, the rest of the, your shift is just normal. Nothing weird is happening at all. All right. Nothing weirder than usual, anyway. Well, not weirder than usual in the zone, at least. Uh, some people oh, came to remove the wolf thing. All right. I hope they use it for fertilizer. So what do you, how, how do you think that thing from the sky was? Uh, nothing good. Maybe an attempt at a second Armageddon. A sign of the gods for sure. It oh, was yeah, helpful. I won't lie, it definitely did help us. We need mm. to tell someone else about it. I have a feeling if we mention it, we're probably going to be sent out to find out what it is. And you say it as if it's a bad thing. I mean, uh, it could be. I want to go out to the zone. Could be dealing with like tech from the old world, like the elder used to talk about. That, yeah, that is true. Then you it's never settled. mentioned any of it falling from the sky. Then we go. No, we should let someone know before you just run off. Well, I'm not telling Maxim. Fuka will remember that. Yes. <laughs> 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 I, I'm not telling anyone either. I'll go let my buddy Seabass know that we're going to probably be packing up and going to find out what that was so but... so is, is Fugo our Kenny is that what you're saying 
I actually liked Kenny. <laughs> I can't think of one time you stuck your neck out for me. Actually, he was my friend at the end of that. <laughs> he like wasn't. Kenny. But nah, I'm not your Kenny, dude. I'm just your local flagellant. Just your local fanatic. <laughs> fanatic? Gotta put it down. It's more dangerous than that beast we killed earlier. Oh. Alright, so... Two volunteers to go tell one of the bosses. Oh no, other people oh, no, have other done people that. Alright, so... Should we go and leave now, or...? Uh... Um, you guys it's complete pretty your dark. shift, and the next day, Maximon God, has yeah. called for a, a grand meeting of the inhabitants of the Ark. Oh, goody. Uh, over here by his house or hut or whatever that I haven't been able to draw into here yet. Okay, I'm gonna try not to be noticed in the crowd if I when I'm there. I don't want to be noticed by him. There's uh, 220 one people i think so that'll be easy yeah all in all in the i'll arc. leave my dog behind i don't want to take her to the meeting so she we'll can guard my little house 20 even uh, souls in the ark including the elder and such things dogs are right. accounted for yeah the dogs can hang out dogs. with you guys wouldn't harm them <laughs> the only um, thing you have to do is pet them Maximon stands uh, on a few crates or some other junk they have found, so he can be able to speak to the entire people. Let's stand. Uh, uh. And he says that my f my friends, my my great people, we have seen many a weird thing in the zone over the years, but even more so the past few years, and now. We see beasts, half beasts and half men running around near our home. This is not the first time we've heard about that. Stalkers have come and gone and they have reported seeing more and more of these odd creatures. With that, I want to present to you, a, uh, give you all a proposition. We need to build this wall. <laughs> I just realized how <laughs> fucking good that sounded right now. <laughs> we'll make the beast, <laughs> beast pay for it. Make the arc great again. Make the arc great again. Now, <clears throat> God. <laughs> we need to build oh, palisades. palisades. Bigger and bigger. stronger and higher than ever before. And I'm calling for volunteers to build it. God damn, is it Senator Armstrong? Uh, at the same time, Marlot is like, hell no, this guy is crazy. I want to go back to the crop field. <laughs> so, uh, after this meeting, the people are a bit riled up. Some are pro, some are against, but there seems to be a, a larger group of pros, pro the new palisade. This is interesting though, so... You guys, what do you guys want to do now? Do you, uh, I heard somebody saying that they wanted to work on the field. Well, if we want to go out to the waste or the zone, I'll be okay with that. But I don't want to be around Maxon right now when he's riling people up to build walls. So you go and build uh, something useful instead. For now, until I get one of the other guys come and get me to say, okay, time to go to the zone and find out what that giant light was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... That's Smiles. Then we have Grunt. I'd probably help with the fields. I need something to do. Uh, Fugo. I guess I'll do the fields. And uh, Nash. Uh, well, be <laughs> first I'm going to die horribly. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it was... Uh... Those hard-boiled eggs were a little dry. Uh, well, if I'm... Uh, I, I feel like... Uh, Nash would be better... Like 
Blah, 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 blah. Wall. Wall. I'm just going to say wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll improve his, the, the space where he usually finds himself working. And, uh... The way I figure it, the people working on that wall might attract more trouble just from the noise of construction, and uh, it's probably best they have their uh, security guy there. Mm -hmm. So, wall. Okay, so you're going to work on the wall. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, you three guys that are working on the field, I'm going to let you guys roll, but only for the skill for uh, roll the dice for whichever suits your character best and that is either endure or know the zone okay all right so we'll start with Watch smiles out. uh you didn't succeed at all but you're allowed to you have two in the know the zone which means that you are allowed to push the roll if you want to. All right, how do I push it? You re-roll 2d6. So, just click the same button again then? Uh, yeah, you can click the same. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. There, I got a trauma point, don't I? I believe so. I, just let me double Ooh. check. But I think you suffer a trauma. So if we got Trump allegories here, does that imply that there's an Alex Jones in the arc? <laughs> no, because he already showed up in the last Modifius game I played. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, yeah. Let's Wait, he already showed up in the last two Modifius games I played, because I made the the gay frogs joke in uh, your your uh, Cronopia game. Right, you did. God damn it. <laughs> Can't get away from him now, can you? <laughs> Maybe that's just going to be the new tradition. Anytime I play in a Modifius game, Alex Jones is going to show up in some capacity. The spirit of Jones, Alex Jones. Oh, get away, the Merrick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, get away, the Merrick. <laughs> Now he has the keyboard solo. Okay, so uh, know the zone is based on wits, right? Yep. You yeah. take one dam damage in wits, which means that you have more or less gotten sunstroke for now. Uh, but you gain one mutation point. Alright, so mutation point up one and, and... Minus one to your So you're saying you've got wits. skin cancer. <laughs> That's the least of your problems in this game. Yep. Probably some blessing to die of cancer in this. <laughs> so this permanent or temporary trauma? It's temporary trauma. You can awesome. remove the trauma by however the hell you did that. Drinking a bottle of water. Probably. That'd be too fucking easy. <laughs> that would be too easy. Oh, hey, with sympathy from some others. Water. Let's see now. Uh, I, it will take some time here in the beginning because this is a new system for me too. Yeah, no worries. We're all learning. Uh, you need to sleep for four hours to re re reset your wits. That's all you need to do. <sighs> oh, that's Please really easy. Oh my god. Here, I was thinking I'll just get, have some phobia of potatoes or something for now uh, on. That would be if you got became broken. The corn made you oh. afraid of potatoes? The corn made me afraid of potatoes. I don't know the difference. I'm not smart. Oh, we <laughs> lost, we lost oh, somebody. Dang. We oh, lost Alex. Alex, come back. Alex, come back. You can blame it all on me! 
Or the potatoes. Oh, um, uh, sorry, my interweb was kind of sputtering. Oh, uh, it's alright. Next person in the group for working on the field. Me. Grunt. Let me roll that. Either know the zone or end endure. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any gear. Oh. Good job. Mm, no success. See. Damn. Well, I guess I'll push, which is just to roll again. Uh, yeah, roll once more. Get sunstroke. Yeah. Dab. Well, I think those cancel each other out. To be honest. Do they? Uh, I'm just double checking now. Well, you know, it's like if you steal illegal drugs, cancels each other out, not a crime. Yeah, it's fine. The stealing's a crime, so is illegal drugs. But if you steal the illegal drugs, two crimes, they cancel each other out. So if you, you kill an someone, illegal immigrant, you know, so someone tried to argue an illegal out. gun, then shooting. A wanted criminal with the illegal gun is okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, being a vigilante. Well, that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah, fucking Punisher. Well, I'm doing like this. You guys get one work point, but you take you take one damage to strength. You sprain your hand. <laughs> Which hand was it? You'll have to write one. Can I inspire? To recover hand? one strength, you need to eat one ration of food. And then we have Fugo. That's that me. Yes. That's you, baby boy. Oh, baby! Nice. That's two two successes. Do you want to follow. press your roll? No, I'm fine. You can only press two dice, though. But still, two. Not... I'm fine. Uh, I forgot to say, Grunt, you receive also one mutation point. <gasps> wow, sir. <laughs> wow, sir, thank you. May I have another? There we go. That's, that's more than one. Yeah, you, um, you guys did remember to point out that you start at one point. <laughs> Mutation point yes. at the start of the game. Otherwise, you can't use your mutations. Exactly. Oh. Some you guys okay. course, of course, mutation have uses one point, some two, and the most powerful, I think, is, uses three points. There are some that uses five, even. Well, mine uses. <laughs> mine uses. One of mine uses X mutation points. Oh. Yeah, I have like, like that, too. Yeah, target suffers a, conf a point of confusion for each uh, I, point I spend. I basically give people my rot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way of doing it. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, while you guys are Luka. working the, the fields, you guys hear some other people talking about oh, it's, it's so horrible with these beast mutants. And, and, and now uh, others of the people are going missing. Missing? Missing? <laughs> Missing? Missing, you say? <laughs> Moving on to Gr uh, Nash. You are working right. over at the... The big gay. At the big gate. It's you no. and several other For some reason, forces. I thought you said the big gay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> the big gay. Big gay Al. <laughs> I I meant to say the big gate, but it did come out as the big gay. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're building a giant rainbow colored statue of a man in a speedo. You're building <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a huge statue of Sean Connery from Stardust. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's just horrifying. <laughs> my eyes. I cannot unsee right. that memory. Stardust is a great movie. So uh, <laughs> so, uh this sounds like an endure role. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. do give me an endure roll while you're working on the palisade. Uh, no gear dice, I assume. I didn't bring a crowbar. Oh, oh baby! baby. Uh, Holy shit! Strong boy. Hey guys, take a break. I got this. 
I broke my fucking wrist trying to plant maize. Meanwhile, someone just built. He just built. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pussy right now. Pussy wrist. Ah. <laughs> uh. Does someone have uh, the projects open in their copy? Um, Guys, I just need yeah, a bunch of time. What do you need right now? Uh, I just moved the building in, onto what the road. Their defenses. Defenses. Yeah. Work. Uh, what do you want to know about it? Uh, how many work points? I'll just copy and paste everything that says defenses right into the game right here. You know. Or you could have just told them to fucking work points. I know, I just want to do that anyway, so everyone else sees it too. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, okay. Thank you. you know? Okay. Thank you. Palisades, uh, twice the number of players, so that means there's going to be eight work points and uh, it's endure and what other skill? scout i can also do that but you well, can then. only work on one project per I know. time i was so, thinking like oh i have skill scout so uh alex uh, you alex? can push the role further if you want to but that's only two dice Okay, well, hold on. If it was supposed to be a force roll, I still have another d6 anyway. Which does not generate another success. I kind of want to push the die just to get more mutation points. Mm -hmm. If you push, uh, I mean, you move that on the previous roll. I mean, would it would it really benefit the job at all? Well, if you succeed, it's another work point. Each six that you rolled here removes one work point from the project. You know what? Why not? So roll 2d6. No, nothing. And you don't receive any mutation points. But you still performed a whopping five successes. That means there's only three left on right. this project. Now I'm doing something that shouldn't be done. You can only have one project at a time, but I'm doing an exception just for fun this time around. Thank you very much. That's because he loves us. Also to get an awful game Ma going because on. Because Maximon is that great of a leader. Yeah. We're gonna build a wall. <laughs> I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Get a wall. We will be safe now. And I'll make Alpha Lab pay for it. <laughs> As uh, you're working around the the wall, uh, there's uh, one of the of the um, uh, I was about to say Bruiser is an enforcer. Wrong game, I think. Taps on your shoulder <laughs> and says, "Hey, man, why are you guys letting you mutated beasts into our ark?" What? No, I'm dirty. Oh, you man. heard me, you big snot nosed idiot. You let a little <laughs> bastard cre mutated creatures into our ark. I heard it yesterday. You let someone in. Could have killed us all. I punched something that was trying to get into the ark yesterday, and it died. So I'd say I'm doing a pretty good job. You pretty good job, huh? You let it inside anyway. I should punch you. <laughs> so I'm dirty uh, day. Uh, <laughs> dirty day. Mm -hmm. I'm dirty day. No, you're okay, pee. I'm you're doing this. Again. So you know, as an enforcer, you uh, you do have you know the possibility of uh, intimidation, falling. more or less. I think. De deport flex. him from the art. Yeah. <laughs> the the art. Here's, <laughs> here's an idea. If we get these palisades done, there will be less open road for me to watch. Then you'll have to worry about these monsters sneaking in less than before. 
But the more we talk about how much you don't like the job I'm doing, the less these palisades are getting built. So how about we just get back to work? <laughs> and I will stand up tall and intimidate and be intimidating while I make my point. Rawr. Which means that you can use a role for dominate if you want to. Oof. My favorite role. Kinky. <laughs> Oops. You're not a good dom. Nah, but I'll give Durr. you this one anyway. Sorry, it was manipulation, I... but... Was it many? Is it called manipulation or dominate? I can't remember. Manipulation, empathy, role. Uh, I'm in, uh, well, you have an intimidate anyway, so yeah, it works. Uh, well, I'll give you that anyway. Uh, the guy backs off, seeing that he has uh, nothing to gain from fighting with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No balls. Come at me if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> so, I go back to picking up Bikini Bottom and moving it over there. <laughs> right, so we're moving the plot forward a little bit here. Alright. You guys have been working on your different projects. Another day passes, which means that you have gotten a, a full um, uh, ration of food and water, which you consume, which means that anyone with strength damage uh, gets one point back. Uh, you guys get a good night's sleep, which means that wits are restored by one point. That is, you guys heal overnight. Nice. So I mark, so I mark down one. Uh, I used up a water. No, you don't have to. The arc gives you guys uh, a ration. Oh, oh mighty good. God, arc! Thank you for the food. <laughs> Still tastes like shit. <laughs> We're growing food, you know, so it doesn't taste like shit. And. In... Well, you guys have planted the corn. Or you just waiting how for you... it to grow. How do you know it tastes like shit? You've been eating shit, bro? No. <laughs> First time I raced dogs, I thought it was chocolate surprise. <laughs> oh. What's a chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> the elders told us. He said, I like chocolate. That's the deep lore. <laughs> Who do the gods? The old gods blessed us with these boxes filled with chocolate. Came Man, the old gods are like rare. It was uh, pretty neat. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... We're coming up on the next day, you guys. Oh boy. Uh, that was a good rest. <laughs> No meters this time. So, what's the plan for this day? Well, we could start setting up an expedition to find out what that light was the other day. Well, there is a choice to send an expedition, but you have to decide that at the beginning of the session. Otherwise, you guys are the ones that have to go out. Into That's what I meant, like, we go. Okay, that would mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, squares away from where you are right now. It's quite a long trip. Then we will not go. <laughs> That's too far. You must be no prepared. But you guys I mean, can... who knows what else we can find while we're going. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We should probably stockpile and supply more than what we already have. Well, you guys oh. can do, if we look at the main map, you guys have the option of going like here around like the area outside your arc. You can't get on the northern side of the river because you guys don't have a boat. All right. But you sure. guys can definitely decide to check out like the closest area you have three 
four, you, this one like this over here or down here. So you have some places you can explore if you want to. Yeah. Let's say we we can we... go over to the old cards area. Cars, not cards. Carbs. Yes, the carbs. <laughs> gotta go to the bakery. I got some carbs. All right, so find them carbs. Do we want to go for a more urban area, look for some maybe some old technology, or do we want to scout in the wilderness and look for? I don't freaking know what'll be out there at all. I say the, the stalker would probably know best where to go. Well, just doing a run to look for food would be logical. A right. new cheeky breaky of Dunk. Have there been any rumors or any other stalkers saying that there have been settlements being destroyed at all or, or abandoned settlements nearby? No. No? The no. little notes that are on the map are the rumors you guys have heard from other stalkers. All right. Well, we're working on the food problem as a settlement already. Uh, was it you, AJ, who brought up the idea of going and getting, like, tarps and buckets and setting up some rainwater collectors? Yeah, I suggested that. Uh, someone suggested getting water collection up, but I brought up the buckets and such. Mm -hmm. Is there, like, any old warehouse or... Um... Well, you guys we... don't really know. Well, I would like to go... How do I ping on here? Uh, just hold down your mouse pointer on where you want to go. Over Probably there. there. But the problem is here. that you guys can't get there directly. Across the river. You guys have, oh, we to can't go, go there. have to go like that and then up. There's a bridge here, but there, there's uh, no bridge by you guys because it's broken. So maybe just exploring this general area first will yes. be a good idea. Yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta forgive us. We don't know that much about Molmo. Or we can try going all the way over here. That's a smart idea. Start the women. Trying to find the Megalodon in Lake Erie? <laughs> I'll, no. Pet, I'll pet it. Right, so Ooh, you guys prep for a... Um, for a trip into the zone. Bring my knife, bring my dog. I bring my fists. What is my class skill again? Uh, yours? Lead the way. Lead the way? I do not have... That must have been what the know the zone was supposed to be. Fuck. Know the zone is more like know the local flora and fauna kind of thing. Identify edible th things and stuff like that. Okay, so I need to have one mandatory point and lead the way. Yes, you do. That's your I mean, class I'm... skill, so... I made a mistake in my class again. Get dunked on. Yep, I'm very dun, sorry, Eric. Dun, dun. You learn as you play, I changed boy. it. Why is James crying? Because he just got dunked on. Okay, so you want me to try to find the path? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, we have to do like this. I I need to generate the where the sector that you guys are going to enter. Okay. All right. So I should find. Let's find a token. What kind of token would you guys like to have for your traveling? Um, um, a pig. Any one of our player tokens would work well enough. Okay, just pull out one of your player tokens on the map, please. I'm currently looking for lead the way or find the pass skill, so if someone else mm -hmm. can put it up, that'd be great. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was a little <laughs> I lead the way. I got oh, this oh. whole area covered. I see. Oh. So I smell put him all. there. Yes, I know. <laughs> that was a bit too much. Oh, it's called Find the <laughs> It's my cultist powers, dude. So this one's called Find the Path. What's your etch a sketch skill? Oh. There we go. 
I got at least three points in my etch a sketch skill. I never had the patience to learn how to make anything effective with an etch a sketch. Yeah, me neither. So... My stepdad, uh, like, I got an etch a sketch one day, and my uh, my stepdad went and he made like these big like country farm scenes with it and all sorts of stuff, and I was just like, I made a box. Lead, find the path of an agility based skill, right? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Roll. No gear. <laughs> no gear. And apparently, it did not roll anything. Unfortunate. Damn. Should I, how many dice should I roll? Wait, weren't you going to roll for know the zone or something? Yeah, find the pass is what I but meant. But you just rolled for healing. What? I meant to roll for this. You rolled for healing, you didn't. I know. Why well, wanted to roll for in the pass? Well, then roll for that! It won't auto-roll it. What What do you mean? It's a custom skill. I can, I can roll my custom skill. How did you manage to roll zero? Do you have an empathy of zero? No, I have three. I have an empathy of four. Have you made sure, have you made sure that you insert the base die because a little window will pop up if it's a custom one asking for the base die? Yeah, which is uh, whatever skill is relevant to that. Okay, okay, now let me do that again. Yeah, you dingus. So the base die in my skill point, do, do I have my agility at all? So like, sick of dog for me is agility, which means it's base die for me is five, since I have five in agility. Oh, I didn't add a skill, but all right. They rolled the skill for me. Oh boy, I'm getting traumas left and right today. Uh, no, the, that only counts if you if you push the roll. Oh, okay. So you I'm have just able to just that. Uh, okay, so that means that you guys around? will enter a, a zone. And there are many different things that can happen while you're in the, that zone area. I'm trying to figure out how this part from gear works. For example, know the zone you can identify monsters and other creatures that you guys might meet in the in the zone which can help you guys understand how to avoid or anything else i'm trying to find this now mm -hmm. uh, you guys enter uh this uh, this new sector uh, walking through several ruined buildings and coming upon a building that seems to be almost untouched by the catastrophe there's almost no growth around it either uh, above the building there's an old weathered sign with a big circle, then there's a smaller circle, smaller circle, smaller circle above it. The windows of uh, this building, it's about two stories, has been broken. Also, you know, yeah, you all find the path. Yep. Yes. Which means that as you guys enter the sector, uh, as you know, smiles. You yep. spot a creature flying in the sky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do I roll know the zone to find out what it is? Yes. It's a demon! I do not think I know that creature. Nope, you don't know the creature. I will let everyone know that there's a creature up there flying around. We probably should try to evade it in case it's hostile. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you see how big it is? Uh, 
it's really far up in the sky, but you guys can see that it's grayish brown, so it kind of blends well into the sky itself. But it's big. Probably about 30 feet, I no, 10 feet is... About 35 feet between the wings. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. We do not want to bother that thing. It's a hey. It was... I bet if you could shoot that thing down, that would provide a ton of meat for the. Uh, yeah, arc. it would. But at the same time, that thing's pretty big, and we don't know what it can do. Last night can we had bleed. a. <laughs> if it can bleed, we can kill it. <laughs> Probably good, I can, uh... but it flies, so it can just take a one of us and drop off like an egg or an egg or. I, I can scream at it. Let's <laughs> ignore it. Let's just keep moving on. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that per that building. It's suspicious enough to want warrant an investigation. Sounds All good right. to me. That's how it is. Well, the thing you guys can do now is to look for artifacts. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Is. I forgot to say I get a plus two modification because I went scavenger. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Your mum's a scavenger. Sorry, Eric. You have been messing about here. No, I haven't. All right. <clears throat> I just keep forgetting everything and not figure remembering how to add things. I won't use it though. I'm trying to learn. Yeah. Due to the fact that you didn't get more than one success with find the path, uh, you would have to redo the find the path with at least two successes to be able to find a uh, any artifacts here. All right. But you can, uh, if, well, let's see now, how the hell was it? Well, this is riveting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I mean, when we get the hang of it. Yeah, we'll get the hang of this sooner or later. I mean, this is the first time ever we play it, so. So, plus um, two modification does it, what exactly? I think you have to push your roll. To be able to, and then choose to find something. Here we go. Find the path. I'm looking to see what exactly. Find the path. Or... Yes. So I get a plus two modification. What does that do exactly? That gives you two more dice. Ah, okay. So you need to roll them, right? Yep, roll. Roll those additional ones just to see if you got that. Just roll the two additional ones right now? Yeah, just roll them and then we have it done. Or find the path. You did one additional success, which means you can choose a bonus effect. Uh, you can see where in the the sector there is an where there is an artifact. Uh, you can tell what kind of rot level is in this sector. Uh, you can find a d6 bullets, a d6 of rot damage rations, uh, a d6 rations of rot free water. Uh, scanning through the the sector takes half the normal time, which is four hours. Uh, or you guys can choose to rush to avoid any creature or phenomena that could be really d damaging to you guys. Phenomena? I like the way that's worded. Yeah, well, there are fun we phenomena. Look for the artifacts we came here for, for helping us with water collection or purification. I think that's what I would like to do. Try to find the artifact we're looking for, or an artifact. Yeah, so I'm trying to find here... 
I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to let you guys find because it will fall. Uh, I think it will fall under scrap more than anything else. Then I'm just going to double check the artifacts. I think the greatest artifact here is each other. Ooh. I'm not that old. I'm hurt by that. Friendship was the artifact all along. <laughs> ah, that's that better. Okay, so what you can roll... Either we can choose to go for uh, that, or if you want to find two scrap. What did the scrap do for us exactly? Uh, it's uh, some kind of artifacts. Well, it's not artifacts in, in itself, but um, it's junk you can from... open up. Junk that you can find useful if it's repaired. Uh, so, what do you guys want more? An actual artifact or something that can be repaired? I have a friend that's a gearhead that might be interested in the scrap or the artifact itself. If you have a friend who wants scrap, we could go for that. Well, he works in the water purification Ooh. plant, so he'd probably prefer to get more stuff to collect water. Sounds good to me. All right. Okay. Uh, you find a slightly cracked pink tub made from ancient plastics. Oh boy! Ah, uh, yes, the ancient plastics. A legendary rare material <laughs> that big withstand the age of the time. The elders called this sigil on the side of it the one they call Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> the great divine Hello Kitty. Man, it's uh, going to be awful uh, if there was an apocalypse and uh, some religious dude finds a book about Warhammer Chaos Gods. Oh, my oh God. no. I mean, that, that will. Ah, oh, yes. This, this sacred uh, anointing tub was uh, used in old days to worship the ancient virgin goddess Rubbermaid. <laughs> <laughs> the Rubber Maiden, praise be. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, let's see now, what else can you find here? Well, you find a mostly uh, undestroyed tarpaulin. It might need some, uh, you know, like fixing up, like a few stitches here and there, but it, it could definitely be restored to be used to gather water. Yeah, nice. So we already got what we needed. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Nice. I'm done. Stop. We could just go back and say we're done and go back and start another expedition in the same area again. All that right, way yeah, we have a... No, I like that idea more where we get the gear we need it secured and take go back instead of risking destroy getting this stuff destroyed. Or our skills oh. killed. Yeah. We try to go back, we open the door, there's that flying creature just perched right outside staring at us. Shut the door, <laughs> we're staying the night here. Not if I scream at it. You want to be the sacrifice? Okay. <laughs> I'll be behind you. Scream. Yeah. I'll fight it for the tubbleware gods. <laughs> <laughs> then be proud. All right. So, are we in agreement to taking the supplies back to the ark right away? Sure, let's do it. No, we got this big old tub. We could use it to carry more things. It's already. It, I don't know how durable it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess you got a point. We wouldn't want to break it any further. Uh, kind of uh, cement or anything to make sure that it doesn't fall apart directly. Yeah, we can probably get. Um, All right. Well, I guess. Uh, have we looted the whole built the old building we're in yet? You guys have you guys... gone through about four hours of work, which means that you have uh, gone through the entire sector and secured it, so to speak. You can come so... back to find more scrap, but you won't find any artifacts. All right. All right. 
but uh, search through. through the sector. It's a safe sector now. Hopefully. Besides the big bird. Ooh. Which means that How you long can, will this... guys can move through it relatively quickly. Cool. How long will this day stay? It will You're stay making me want to get it. They haven't really said, but uh, there is a chance always that you guys will run into a danger. You haven't taken care of the current danger within this sector, though. Yeah, Ter pterodactyls notwithstanding, it's pretty safe. <laughs> as long as people don't piss it off. Besides all these demons, it ain't that bad. Mm -hmm. Them's good eating. <laughs> I do love a good bird. So yeah, but in a different way. Dude. Uh, I forgot so to tell you guys back. that each of these sectors are about. I made them almost two miles by two miles. What kind of fucking system of measurement are we using here? The fine kind. Well, or the are, I'm sorry, it's... Uh, no, sorry, a little bit of one point something miles. It's about two kilometers. Okay. That's okay. okay. So that's it's good. like four square kilometers is one of these, and it takes four hours to search through one sector. You know, if we are set in Toledo, Ohio, we could go raid the art museum. And find a find a no, mummy. Dude, we're in Momo. Oh. Where yeah. are we actually, Eric? Where you're actually at? In the game, yeah. In the game. You Post apocalyptic. Guys are on your arc is located on I think it's called High Bridge in Toledo, Ohio. All right. So we could raid the art museum. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not too far away at all. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna be running around with like that, like that, that Greek soldier helmet. There's a lot of secrets in that old building too, so Eric could have fun. It uh, just uh, because of that, that what... you guys don't really know if it's uh, around. Anybody? No, we don't. We do not know about it at all in game. I'm just and, saying that's something we could do. And even so, even if it was around now in 2018, when the catastrophe hit, it might not have been around anymore. Yeah, that is true. Or someone else has looted it. Oh, if it's yeah. well, it's still around. It most definitely got looted. But there was a lot of secrets in that old build, that building, anyway. Caesar's legions went through there. That's where they got their inspiration for Fallout. Shit. <laughs> That's a good thing. I like the legion. Sports go. All right, so we are going back to the Ark with our newfound gear. Mm-hmm. Sebastian would probably be happy to work with on it and get it all good to go. And if you need the shopping list, we can get it from him. That is true. Well, hopefully um, be enough do for I need now. A, do you want to roll up a basic sheet for him, or is he just going to be a generic NPC? Uh, I'm going to make him a generic NPC and then modify him we to be with mutations so he becomes like a troll, so to speak. Yes. I have to go through the different mutations to make him more interesting. Thank you, thank you. Uh, as you guys return, uh, the sun is about to start setting. I mean, it's still early spring here, so the days are relatively short yet. Uh, as you guys return to the Ark, uh, there are a couple of hunters and stalkers who... Oops, I'm moving the screen that come dragging some kind of horrible furry creature with them oh another one yes oh, they have a bird caught so another water. one another weird wolf oh, i was gone for four and, hours and as they drag it into the ark the people will in the regular mob fashion you know start spitting and kicking after it before it's is it alive? It's still alive. It's alive and kicking and, and growling and acting uh, like a wild animal. It's brought okay. up towards Maximum's place. Oh boy, Lucas. I do not want to be a part of this. Um, let's get this gear to Seabass and have him work on see what he needs. If anyone wants to go watch what Maximum does to that beast, go ahead. Can make sure to see what happens. I'll report back what I see. All right, be careful. I try to be. Uh, 
who goes to Maximum, who goes to Sea Bass? Smiles goes to Sea Bass. Anyone I, go to with, I go with Grunt. Yeah, yeah I grunt think the, I think ever I think nobody else really has a reason to go to Sea Bass. He, I mean, Smiles is just dropping off the water stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to chat with him see if he needs anything else. Yeah, Sea uh, Bass is really happy that you come by. It's like, ooh, you bring things. Sea <laughs> Bass happy. Smiles, friends. Smiles make sea bass smile. <laughs> Sloth, love, chunk. Is this the guy who fucking fixes our water purifier? <laughs> hug, hug. And then I give him a hug very too. Hard. I'm hoping he doesn't break my spine. I'm assuming he's pretty strong. Yeah, he's Roll pretty strong. Rolling uh, he, well, he straightens your spine. You know that nice little pressure thing that the, the masseuse... No, the chiropractors oh. do sometimes. All right. When your spine pops. <laughs> yeah. Smiles Lucas realizes friend. that this is who fixes the water. You're welcome. Right? If you need anything else, let me know. Your smile finds metal and more plastic. Seabass very happy, much happy. We'll build more right. water, water catching device. I'm trying to remember. That's nice. Here. So you need more metal and uh, plastic. Yes. Yes. Good. We'll look for more of that when we're out again. He pats your head and goes, You good boy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Um, the guys who get up to Maximon, uh, the skipper is standing right outside his hut. They have built a makeshift um, cage for the creature somehow, using old... Um, uh, what's it called? Like you know, trolleys from a shopping mall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They've taken off the netting part and made like panels out of it and made it into a cage. Reinforced oh, with some other scrap cool. and stuff. Perfect. That they they throw the creature in there and it hunkers down in a cor corner and whines like a scared dog. Uh, Lucas looking a bit closer at it, you guys can see that it's definitely female. Hmm. Oh, damn, Lucas. Shush. Do the, uh... Is it still wearing, like, anything? Uh, it's wearing people clothes. Oh my god, I thought it was wearing crab clothes. Uh, Wait, I'm not there. <laughs> the hint towards it being female is in the general... Chest area, so to speak. Ah, so got boob. I've seen those. Do the clothes look it. familiar? Uh, they, it's kind of interesting because the this wolf is wearing an orange, well, previously orange jumpsuit. You know, like you find in a prison. Uh. Hmm. Prison werewolves. Prison werewolves? What's a prison? Oh. <laughs> how many how many you know, uh about this place called Alcatraz? It wasn't didn't sound like a fun place. Also Auschwitz. Is that how many how many how many teardrop uh tattoos does it have under its eye? None that you can see. What's a tattoo? Okay. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Not me. Uh, with that, I'm actually going to conclude the session here. You guys have quite a lot to think about. Yeah, I'm trying to put it all together in my brain. <laughs> if we can find a way to domesticate those sayings, to make them not feral. Okay, beings, the fact that we know it's a female and humanoid and you use the word domesticate makes it very awkward. Well, I'm thinking, if it was male, it could have been male, I would say the same thing. Because right now, all I see is a feral beast. That was it, once it, human. It, it can have feelings. Yeah, if we can get it to get control of itself again, that'd be great. I think we should let Luke handle it, because he touches dogs all day. I mean... <laughs> different. The dog I mean... whisperer. 
the yeah. dog the dogs don't talk they, they go bar bark and i go yeah yeah lucas yeah. is yeah see lucas can use his skills that he uses on his pug and he can apply those his dog's a pug now <laughs> sure <laughs> no. and it's a pomeranian really um a very, very it, big Pomeranian, then. I was kind of hoping for, like, a mutated version of a St. Menard, or... Uh, I want one that's, like, Russian, 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 like, bear-hunting ducks. Well, this like a man is, uh, This is a mutated wolf. Uh, well, I mean, a pug's kind of like a mutated wolf.